Hey guys, Xluma here, and this is hopefully a, sh um, a short video uh, to simply talk a little bit about the newest release of the Princro Universal Warp Randomizer version 1.99. And to make it short, what this new release uh, brings forward to the program is um, Fire Red and Leaf Green 1.0 and 1.1 support, as well as uh, Y2 support which, uh, from my understanding, are two games that have been highly requested for uh, quite some time now. And basically this is just, you know, an update video because the old one, um, well, the program changed a, changed a little bit, mostly for uh, Mac OS, for which I had uh, very, very um, weird instructions. So we're all gonna go over that today. And yeah, I'll just show it off Windows and then I'll show it off for Linux and then I'll show it off for Mac. So the first thing that you're gonna do is that if you're not in uh, Point Cross Discord yet, you're gonna join it, verify yourself, and you're gonna go down to the mod download section. Um, at the time of making this video, Point Crow is streaming, so that's why it's not showing the correct version but for you when you're gonna download it this archive will be a google drive link pointing to our release and the change log will show all the changes so you're gonna download the archive from there and you're gonna get this file you don't you wp 1.99 zip so you're gonna extract it just a little bit and you have a folder which has a change log with uh, all the correct changes for the correct version. And you see you have Linux, Mac, as well as Windows build. So for Windows, very simple, you just go into the Windows folder, double click, and you get this beautiful splash image that uh, Abby made for us. So uh, thank you, Abby, if you see this video. And you have the very same old uh, UI from the old programs. Info tab has been updated with all the games that we support. So we really just click randomize warps. And uh, do I have a game near? Do you have a game near? Y2, pick your game. And it takes a little bit of time, but it's gonna ask for an output tram. So we're gonna do test random warp. No need to give it an extension, the randomizer does it, does it uh, automatically. Save. And then it's going to freeze for maybe 30 seconds a minute. If it stays stuck on initializing for like more than like a minute or two, as you can see now it took, it took like yeah, 30 seconds. So if it stays stuck for like more than two minutes, please come to us and like report a bug and we're gonna look into it. And like if we look quickly, you can see that I do have a ROM, testrandomrar.nds, which is a randomized Y2 game. Pretty much it for, um, for Windows. So for Linux, the steps also didn't change that much. I'm gonna use WSL just for uh, just because you know it represents a Linux terminal and the process is going to be the same. So what you're going to do is that again on your Linux distro you're going to download the archive and then you're going to use the cd command to cd wherever the archive is uh, stored. So for me it's going to be in a Windows directory but um, you do the cd wherever it is stored. Uh, is it not this? Okay. Data. Oh, it's in French. Okay. Cool. Okay. And so what you do here is that you would do the unzip command, which uh, really does what it says. Unzips a file. And then you give it the file name. And there you go. It just unzips the contents and then you do CD inside that folder 
and then inside the Linux one. And then you just launch the program with dot slash warp randomizer million dot bin. So for me, it gives an error because this is just a terminal. There's no, you know, it's not a full distro, but for you, it should, it should launch correctly. If it doesn't, um, maybe just a permission error. So all you gotta do is chmod plus x or randomizer main dot bin, which is gonna give the permission to execute the file. Although it should come with it um, by default. So if it doesn't, yeah, just gives it, give it uh, permission to execute and it should be fine. In this new release of the warp randomizer, the macOS binaries have been fixed so that now they can be launched directly with a double click, which was um, not possible with the old ones that were like some errors, permission errors. Now that's all fixed. All you gotta do is check your um, macOS version. If you're, on Cat if you're on Catalina, Big Sure on Monterey, we have two different build releases for um, all of those OSs. So check it, and then it's really just like Windows. Open the open the app via double click. Choose your ROM, save the ROM, and it gives a notification if it fails or if it succeeds. So that's gonna be it for today uh, for me. Um, I hope everybody enjoys the newest release. Um, don't hesitate to send us feedback about the program if you find a bug, something that we might have forgotten, or something that you might want to see in the program in the future. So um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the mod, and uh, I will see you all later.